Hey, what up, Street Talks? There, coming from there, from Street Talk Block. So, I want to share with you all a random idea I had about uh, entitlement. So, generally in modern society, we see entitlement as a bad thing. Now, I wanted to kind of just kind of, you know, unpack this notion of entitlement and kind of wonder to ourselves, like, why is it that we see entitlement as such a bad thing? And also, like, is it really a bad thing? Should it be a bad thing? And uh, so forth. So, my thoughts. First and foremost, what does entitlement actually mean? So essentially, I think most people, when they, when they tend to say um, entitlement, I think most people tend to think that like, oh, you're just saying that you're just like being an entitled douchebag. And I don't think that's like kind of like a, a good thing because it's not really quite accurate. So entitlement is more accurate when you're saying, oh, when you kind of give someone a title and essentially that, you know, you know, I, I think effectively entitlement could be like a rich kid being like, oh, do you know, do you know who my dad is? So you're essentially giving a title to yourself by saying, oh, you know, I'm royalty or I have privilege because my dad is person X, Y, and Z and, and so forth. So now the question is, is this really kind of accurate or is this fair? So this is just my general thought is, you know, when it comes to entitlement, it's only bad in the context that we think that... I think it's only bad in the context of uh, thinking that like, oh, you know, this person thinks that they're so much morally superior than other people. And so essentially the, the problem about entitlement is suggests some sort of social stratification or some sort of social hierarchy that some sort of humans are superior than others. Now actually, now this is where things get more interesting. Are there superior humans to others? And should there be superior humans to others? This is, uh, to me, actually a very, very interesting uh, fine line and an interesting thought. So according to my, th my thinking, you know, I do actually do believe in a, a ranking of human beings, like, you know, through hard work and industry and through effort and through ingenuity, I do believe that some humans are actually do rank higher than others. Now, I don't believe in like racial hierarchy. Right? I'm not like, you know, you're born Caucasian or Asian or African-American or Latino, and therefore you have some sort of unalienable superiority or right above others. I believe actually, you know, race, genetics, gender, blah, blah, doesn't matter and shouldn't matter. And actually what distinguishes us is our hard work, our industry, industriousness, and also our courage. Because to me, ultimately it's all about courage. The more courage you exhibit, the more of a human you are and the more great you are. So other reasons why I like this notion of courage is that courage is something you could actually control and it's not dependent on your height, your weight, your sex, your muscular mass, your, your gender, your sexual orientation, whatever. Courage is something that's actually in, in low supply in just like modern day life. So I think actually if more people could exhibit courage in just like a little bit of everything, I think the world could become uh, a better place. So for example, one person I admire, you know, Rosa Parks. She was probably one of the most courageous people in history. She refused to stand up. And so it's actually funny too. Acts of courage could actually be acts of renunciation, like knowing what you decide not to do as a consequence of showing some sort of your personal courage. So you know, refusing to do X, Y, and Z. So even like, even if you consider like World War II or the Holocaust, whatever, those who exhibited the most courage are the ones who decided to disobey orders and maybe could have gotten the guillotine for disobeying to uh, their superiors. Cause you know, like after the war, you know, there's so many people who pled the whole like, oh, but I was just following orders. I'm like, yo, if, if you're following orders and this is against your own moral code of ethics and you didn't have the courage to say otherwise, then you are actually kind of a morally re uh, reprehensible individual. So I believe much more in like, oh, 
you know, you following your own morality, you following your own gut, and essentially not uh, compromising. Because to me, actually, what, what is compromise? To me, compromise is very simple. Compromise is just not having the guts or the courage to really stand up for yourself or stand up for what you believe in and to let other people bully you around. Now, the reason I also like this definition of, uh, you know, you know thinking about courage is that, once again, you don't have to jump in front of like a, a flying train and save a baby to be courageous. You could exhibit courage in um, really small days, things in everyday life. Even like having the courage to stand by an unpopular opinion, having the courage to speak your mind. You know, there's, there's so many different types of courage that you could exhibit, and there's so many types of courage that can make you brave. And I like the light here. So, you know, when it comes to your, your everyday life, I'd really encourage you to think about, you know, how are more ways that I can exhibit courage in my everyday life and to essentially be less, less afraid. So how do I become less afraid? How do I exhibit more courage? How do I stand up for myself more? So the first and foremost, I do think is actually very useful to build up your like physical strength or physiological strength. Go to the gym, start doing deadlifts. Try to deadlift at least twice your body weight, then three times your body weight, then hopefully maybe one day deadlift four times your body weight. Then you're gonna have a stronger self-esteem. People are, fear people are gonna fuck with you and uh, don't let others fuck around with you. So I would actually say, um, also other, the other ways you could exhibit courage, just don't censor yourself. Be brutally honest with others, be brutally honest with yourself, uh, share your opinions uninhibited on your website, your blog, your vlogs, whatever, and don't let people's, don't let the thought of like, you know, this person's gonna drop me or this person's gonna cancel me or, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm signed to this person and they're gonna, my unpopular idea is gonna cause me to lose sponsorships. Fuck that. Follow yourself.